for those of you that I haven't had a chance to meet yet, my name is Andre. I travel schools across Canada and I find this is one of the best things that I can do with my time. I probably don't need to tell you too much more about me because today's presentation actually isn't about me very much at all. What's most important is the knowledge and the information that's been passed on throughout history that I'm going to be sharing with you today. I would say what we're going to be talking about is among some of the most important information that a human being can learn or be aware of at some point throughout their life. So let's get started. The goal is to travel Canada and visit one school each day with a very important learning experience related to these core aspects of life. And the result is a lasting impact that's intended to help students and staff to make the most of our opportunities to both learn and teach in Canadian schools. You guys bring your pens or pencils? No. No? Okay, well I'll make you a deal. No writing for today's class, but what we do need to do is think and focus. focus. Right, so concentrating. Good job. I saw Andre's presentation today and I was very, very impressed uh, with how engaged the students were with his message. He touched on so many topics and some of them scientific that I, I was really surprised he could hold their attention for so long and they were really riveted by, by what he had to say. People have different habits and routines based on what they focus on as they grow. Some habits and routines are good for you and some habits and routines if you're not focusing could be not so good for you. It just made me feel like I could do something like I'm not good at work because I could never focus and I always wonder what was going on around me and it makes me feel pretty bad. And so when I saw it all, it just made me feel like I could focus because I was in control. Inside your brain, the nerve cells actually create real electrical and chemical energy. Every time you produce a thought, you're sending very real energy through your body and through your neurons. But when you focus and you tell your brain to try harder, that's how your brain starts to make connections and that's how you start to remember and learn. It's not just a city school that has problems with respect and uh, healthy eating and everything else, the focus that was talked about. Um, it would be beneficial for rural schools, schools across Canada. It's not just a Manitoba problem, it's a Canada-wide issue that's going to be beneficial for anyone. Well, I think just the whole positive nature of it. I think that can go to absolutely any age, uh, whether it be middle years or high school. Being positive is, is just an energy that we want to give everybody. And when you come in and give that information and you show that information in your own body language, it refers to everybody else. So I think any age group would be would be great. It opens our eyes as to how we're speaking to students, um, the integrity, the respect with students that are learning and everyone in the building is a learner. I'm a learning principal. These core aspects are, are so important it seems to me that every human being should at some point within their life review this information or be introduced to it so that they can think about it for themselves. But I would say a successful future for the Canada Goal would be for other Canadians, other teachers, other administrators to capture the value of the experience and embrace it so that we can work together as teachers to share very important knowledge and information with the students that are learning in our schools. Thank you.